diary. It's the beginning of September. I'm alone in the study with Princess, who is supervising the dismantling of the Vitality sensor. Uh, uncharacteristically, she is not moving and jumping up and down. She is just resting and supervising. Isn't that right, uh, baby? Okay, let's move on. So we uh, continue the Vitality story, which is that um, we were told about Vitality um, health plan insurance and also uh, Vitality financial um, plans. Uh, <clears throat> and we were alerted to the fact that if you're a healthy person, you can get an actual discount on Garmin equipment. So by, by entering one of their financial plans, you got the ability to uh, buy at a discount in one year a Garmin watch. And initially we thought this was a great idea. So we made a modest, so in our family, we both made a mod modest investment in the Vitality uh, financial investment plan. Um, and then at the end of the year, um, we also heard that Vitality was starting car insurance. So we thought, okay, what does that entail? They, they promised that they would actually beat um, our existing car insurance. Now our existing car insurance was with LV, which is a very cheap brand in the UK. And I very much doubted that anyone could possibly be LV. <laughs> but after quite a bit of negotiating, because the original quote from Vitality was nowhere near as cheap as LV car insurance, they magically did beat the uh, uh, LV car insurance. But they had this weird point system, which is concerned with this gadget that I'm holding here. So this gadget, which Vitality uh, sent us, uh, was designed to check that you're driving well. Um, and the, the principal objection I have to this gadget is it didn't really work very well. And I haven't quite finished the Vitality car insurance because they are actually leaving the market, but I've taken it upon myself to remove this from the car ASAP. So to explain further, this gadget has got some sort of G-force sensor in it um, and some rudimentary um, telemetry ability to see how fast you are going. I think it probably, maybe, maybe gets that from your smartphone. The net result is that every trip that you take uh, it, within the car, the idea is you have your smartphone switched on, um, this talks to your smartphone and reports back to Vitality um, about your driving, which you might think would be a good thing uh, and something that I would tolerate, but the app isn't, the smartphone app is not very well designed in that it looks at your exact, the app requires precise location, not just average location and it requires it to be on all the time. And it reports it back even when you're not driving. So on, 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 on under Apple uh, iOS and under Android, I can see that the app, for example, in a few days per day is reporting multiple times. Now they say somewhere on their website that they're not storing this information, but it's very, very disconcerting. And I'm very angry about the whole situation. I tried to work with them to try and persuade them that that was a bad idea and it was kind of an infringement of my sort of personal privacy. Why should uh, Vitality be spying on me effectively and, and looking at my location multiple times during the day? But nothing, nothing came of, of that. Um, the app didn't really improve, had multiple problems with the smartphone app. And um, so I was left with a very, very un unhappy, as a very unhappy customer. So then later on this year, in, sorry, in, in 2023, Valentality have now said, oh, they're pulling out of not only the finance market, but the car insurance market as well. So had I been a very, very good driver and, and done my um, uh, driving very, very well and got points per week, that points would have aggregated to a score and then the score would have given me a discount on my next year's driving uh, insurance cost. But of course, they're pulling out of the marketplace, so... What the heck? So I'm just pulling the sensor apart now. Uh, now the sensor, like I say, is, is, is very sensitive and measures all sorts of things. And for example, it measures G-force. And if you go around a corner too quickly, even at 20 miles an hour on our driveway, getting out of the actual house, it, it sends me a message saying that I'm driving recklessly and, uh, and I need to slow down. And literally I've had this sensor go off multiple times. There's, a, there's one corner before we get out of our house. And the damn thing goes off, even at 20 miles an hour. So every time I do a journey, it goes off and it says that I'm driving in a bad way. 
and it, it, it knocks me points off. So I, I, it, it, the only way to get the full points on this scheme with this sensor is not to drive. So if you don't drive um, for a long enough period of time, you get points per day, which is, which is I, can, I can see why they're doing that. They want you not to drive the car. So their insurance policy is never going to be um, used for an accident because you're not driving the car. Right, I think I've really got it out now. Phew. Okay, my rant continues. I have fully extracted this electronics card from the uh, Vitality case, and I have tracked down the electronics, the main electronics module, which is a Cypress semiconductor Cybel, C Y B L E 012011 And on the interweb, that is a creator module, and it says it's a low energy wireless mobile solution. It's a turnkey solution including oscillators, trace antenna, passive components. It contains 128 kilobytes of flash memory, 16 kilobytes of static RAM, up to 23 GPIOs, uh, Bluetooth 5.1, um, two serial communication blocks. It's got I squared C, it's got timers, apparently it's got an LCD drive, obviously not used, Bluetooth low energy support, um, it's, a, it's a micro, what I call a microcontroller, I don't know if that's the right word, that's what I call it. Um, transmit current, current consumption is 15.6 milliamps. So yes, uh, it seems to be a decently capable chip um, to talk to the smartphone and and extract data from it unless it combined with the smartphone app is monitoring my driving and sending off my stats to Vitality um, and the app is also monitoring my location it's seemingly, seemingly endlessly even when I'm not driving and reporting it's accurate my accurate location to Vitality tens of times per day so, so we'll be a little bit sad to leave uh, Vitality car insurance since the price was rather good um, but they are exiting not just the car insurance market but we understand the financial market insurance market as well um, their offers on discounted Garmin products seem to deteriorate as well in that they only had last year's models so when you got this great discount on the Garmin watch for example it was only last year's model, not, not for example this year's model, we've got 965s and they, that wasn't on the list. Um, so their, their purported discount got worse anyway. Um, you can see that the, uh, the, the chip that they had contained a, a decently uh, sophisticated microcontroller and that was combined with a rather overzealous uh, smartphone app which monitored your position even when you weren't driving and uh, the sensor was also programmed to report bad driving even when you're doing less than 20 miles an hour going around a small bend uh, meaning that it was difficult to get a, a, a clean day's driving out of it okay that's it and it's goodbye for me and it's goodbye from princess